everyone. Today I'm going to replace the brake master cylinder on the Mazda B2200. So here are the parts that I'm going to need. I got jack stands, so I'm going to be removing the wheels to uh, be able to rotate them as well. And so that I can easily access the bleeder valves. I got, of course, the new master cylinder, which I've painted blue. It comes with bleeder hoses, etc. I have a 10 millimeter wrench, ratchet socket, and a number 12, uh, as well as the extension. I have a homemade bleeder system, and I'll link below where I got it from. This is actually one of Chris Fick's awesome ideas. And new brake fluid to go with the thing, as well as a heavy duty jack to lift up the truck. So here's the location of the master cylinder. Alright. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up the lines themselves, the brake lines, with the 10 millimeter ratchet. Right. Oh. Break it first. Okay, that's loose. That was easier. Okay, they're all loose. All right, as far as I can see right now, it's got two bolts, one here and one here, which means anything else attached to it will probably come out too. And it's not attached. Okay, now this lovely wire tells the sensors if it's low on fluid, is my guess. Take it off. Remove the brake lines from the cylinder. I've left the lines loose for now, just so I can secure the cylinder itself first.
connect the new lovely item. Okay, it's in. And next we'll go bleed the brakes. Oh, wait, before I do that, we shall fill it up. Okay, it's gonna be dot three fluid to the max line. loosely because I'm gonna go bleed the brakes. I don't want it exposed to get dirt in it but I need it to be able to breathe while I bleed the brakes. So that's how you replace the brake master cylinder on the Mazda B2200. Uh, the only thing that's left to do is to bleed the brakes which I'll show on the next video linked below. Sweet!